All right, uh, so I'm Cody. Um, I've met several of you before uh, over the past few years. I've been following this community for a while, um, but I haven't really contributed to the community much. But recently I left my job finally to spend more time building stuff in this community. So I kind of wanted to talk about some of the stuff that I've been looking at the past few weeks and kind of gauge it, see what people's interests are and um, see if people are thinking of similar, similar ideas. Um, so yeah, I've kind of, I've been looking into Git a little bit. I think everyone is very aware of kind of similarities between Git and IPFS um, with content addressing and local trees and whatnot. And we kind of use Git a lot with analogies and a lot of design patterns and things like that. Um, so I was kind of looking at, you know, personally storing, you know, my Git projects on IPFS. And I was looking at what solutions were out there. Um, and I kind of came up with some use cases that I noticed were kind of missing or um, there, there wasn't really anything out there that met my needs. So I kind of wanted to share some of those. Um, the two big use cases that I didn't really find was a way to have private end-to-end -end encrypted repos. So you can think like Keybase Git is something that I've, it's actually the only project I've ever found where you can actually have end-to-end -end encrypted Git repositories. Um, and I've used that before. So I was looking for something like that, but on IPFS. And also a lot of the tools that were out there to help you store Git repos in IPFS were built using you know, IPLD, where they'll give you a CID back. Um, a lot of them will use IPNS to track um, the latest CID uh, for a Git repo. Um, but then uh, there's kind of problems with, okay, what if you have you know, a larger repo that multiple people are writing to and that you need more fine-grained access control? Um, and so I've also been following textile very closely for a while now. And so to me, I saw threads as like a really, really good fit for these two use cases. Um, and yeah, so kind of looking at that for a while um, and very interested in building um, basically a threads back to get remote um, to, have, to meet these use cases. And so some of the stuff, and the goals I was looking at, again, I was talking about supporting multiple writers um, and supporting end-to-end -end encryption. And then I think a big thing I ran into was um, how to support and be interoperable with IPLD. So there's a lot of tooling out there um, for the Git raw IPLD codec. Um, but I think a big thing that's missing is Git repos aren't really being pinned. And so what I think what's relevant to the pinning summit here is you know, really, I think the, the end goal that a lot of people have and have been talking about for a while is how can we, you know, traverse all these Git repos through IPLD, right? But I think a big problem is that these links are not really permanent because no one's really pinning these Git repos. And so I've been thinking about, well, how, why aren't people pinning these and how can they pin these? And so Kyle's talk yesterday from Pinata about NFTs, I thought was really interesting when he was talking about who should be responsible for, for pinning the Mona Lisa. So I was kind of thinking about that the past few days and was thinking, okay, well, who is really responsible for pinning Git repos? And I was thinking about it and really realized that the way developers use Git today already, people are already pinning these Git repositories, right? So if you're a developer actively working on a Git repository, you're, you're already storing that Git remote locally um, and everyone is, right? And that's kind of like already normal. And so I guess the next question is, okay, well, how can developers actually add these Git repos to IPFS? And to me, what I, what I kind of realized is the big thing is like the elephant in the room is GitHub. Like a lot of people use GitHub, obviously, but I think it's important to, to know like the GitHub is a lot more than just Git. And that's why it's not very easy to just switch to a different Git provider is because of GitHub. And I think, one approach is like, okay, you know, maybe we could have a decentralized GitHub. I think, you know, maybe eventually we can have that. And I think a lot of people would think that's really cool. But even, you know, way before that, I think we're very close to, you know, how can we enable developers to store their Git repositories on IPFS while still being able to use GitHub? And I think that will be, could be a huge driver to get people to start pinning um, these Git remotes onto IPFS and to actually be able to open up all these use cases for traversing these Git repositories through IPLD. And so I think GitHub mirroring services 
could be a potential service that pending services provide. Um, so this is kind of an area I'm, I'm looking into. And I really, yeah, I really think textile threads, I'm very interested, uh, played around with quite a bit with this. Um, but yeah, I kind of, that's kind of all I had. Just wanted to kind of show what I was thinking about. If anyone is interested in this problem in particular or that, or knows other people and other projects, I'm not sure which ones are active or not. So if anyone knows other active product projects that are interested or in the similar area as this, um, yeah, I'd love for people to reach out and um, to get feedback and just try to get people together to to push this forward. So if anyone's interested, yeah, let me know.